Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a wedding in a week video, which means that it's everything that I ate in a week, approximately. Although, this is just five days, so not really a week, but a week, a weekday, a week of weekdays. A week's worth of weekdays. Monday through Friday. So we're starting off with some cereal and granola and frozen blueberries. This is something that I was eating a lot of during this time. Um which was just like a couple weeks ago. I would either put the blueberries in there and let them like thaw for a little bit and then warm my milk in, and then you'd have a nice cold cereal. Or I would microwave the blueberries for a little bit just so they're not like frozen anymore and then mix in the cereal and stuff. It doesn't, it, it makes your cereal like a little bit warmer, like just slightly warmer, you know? Not warm, just like slightly warmer than it normally would be. It's just convenient because like I never want to buy fresh blueberries, they're too expensive and they go bad too easily. And here I'm having some of this Kite Hill cheese. You'll see a lot of the same like foods as my last video because I was filming these videos on s around the same time. And I was like, maybe that's interesting to see like some of the foods from my videos but like the rest of the foods that's around it during that week, you know what I mean? So it's like... I don't know, is that interesting? And now I'm having a chickpea salad sandwich with some chickpea salad that my mom actually made and forgot at home before she left for a trip, so I graciously, generously ate it for her. Um, and I'm making a little sandwich with some sourdough bread and spinach and some of that German pickled veggie thing that I bought from Grocery Outlet, which is pretty cool. It's a cool way to add veggies to certain things. I had them with hot dogs, which was really good, obviously. And yeah, I also put some olive oil on the sandwich. It was quite good. <laughs> it was quite a good sandwich. If I do dare, I do say myself. And then here I'm making that matcha lemonade beverage also from my last video, which is just matcha, water, and lemon juice, and agave. I just mixed the matcha with the water with my hand frother and then I mixed in some lemon juice and the agave and then frothed it again and it was very delicious. I started out with the juice of half a lemon and that was like a nice like lemony matcha but I wanted like a matcha lemonade so I put a whole lemon in there and it's very delicious, very refreshing, not so much in season anymore but it's a really good summer drink or if it's still hot for you, there you go. Uh, or, if, you know, who cares? You can eat whatever, drink whatever you want, eat whatever you want at any time of year. You can have soup in July. No one's going to stop you. Well, some people. Anyways. Um, and then I had the pizza from the last video. Yeah, I already talked about this. Okay, the deja vu will end soon. But yeah, that pizza. You know what? I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty good. My roommate did not agree. Um, she suffered, I guess. Sorry. But I did pay for it, so free food you know can't be that much suffering anyways but i did like the sweet potato crust like honestly i thought that was kind of fun it had like an interesting texture but i'm a sweet potato freak so that's a little bit you know there's a little bit of a bias going on there most of all, it's just fun to try something new, don't you think? Um, anyways, now I'm having a smoothie, and I actually thought I was filming all the ingredients of the smoothie, but I wasn't. And I realized that afterward, which is pretty sad. But it was a pretty normal smoothie. Um, I just, you know, the ones that I've been making in my previous videos were blueberries, um, peanut butter, milk, some water, some oats, some seeds, hemp and chia, some frozen banana, and spinach unless i didn't put spinach in this one i can't remember and i don't feel i can't go back and look because i'm supposed to be doing this in one take so now i'm having the matcha from the last video again but this is a um strawberry banana matcha float thingy i wanted to make a version of the banana matcha float with strawberries in it because I was like, that'd be fun. Everybody loves strawberry matcha. But what about strawberry banana matcha, you know? But unfortunately, I mean, this was good. But I kind of just prefer the banana matcha. Um, but I'm not sure if it's just because the banana matcha was more sweet. Because this one, you know how strawberries are. I didn't really think about it while I was making it. I was just like, let's put some strawberries in there. But I should have put like um, more sweetener or put like strawberry jam or something i don't know because strawberries aren't as sweet in they're not as sweet per 
area as bananas are. Does that make sense? Um, so anyways. But before we get on with the rest of the video, I want to take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of it, which is Harry's, a company that makes high quality German engineered and unisex, we love to see it, razors. Something that I'd like people to know about me, but that doesn't come up very often, obviously, is that I'm a very body hair positive person. I hope that everybody, regardless of their gender, shaves only what they want to shave and doesn't let society pressure you into having to shave. For example, for me, I rarely ever shave my leg hair, but I actually do shave my armpit hair, especially in the summer, because I don't like the feeling of sweaty armpit hair. But sometimes I do like to shave my legs. Like, for example, recently I went to a cousin's wedding and I was gonna wear a dress and I just felt like having nice hairless legs for that dress. But a problem that arises when you have long hairy legs throughout the year and then you suddenly want to make them smooth, it can be not very fun if you don't have a good razor. But my Harry's razor did a very good job all in one go, you know, it went so smoothly and so did my legs. Harry sent me their starter set in which you'll get a five blade razor, weighted handle, blade cover, and their foaming shave gel, which smells so good and is suitable for sensitive skin with skin loving ingredients such as aloe and hyaluronic acid. And I love being less wasteful by getting a high quality razor handle and then you can just switch out the blades anytime they get dull instead of having to dispose of the whole thing every time. And it's really convenient because you can subscribe to have the refills delivered directly to your door as often or not often as you'd like. They also give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations and have a 100% money back guarantee. So if you want to redeem your own starter set for just $5, you can go to the link on the screen, harrys.com slash emilyewing or click the link down in the description below. Thank you again to Harry's for sponsoring this video and we can get back to the rest of the things that I ate this week. And now I'm having some of those Asha noodles with the sesame soy sauce sauce. This is like a different variety that I found at Grocery Outlet. They have all these different kinds of these noodles, but they're all like the same, just slightly different, you know? Um, there's the Momofuku ones, the Hello Kitty ones. These are like Tainan noodles, which I don't really know what that means. Um, I should probably look it up and maybe I will but um, yeah so I mix in some shredded carrot I like to put shredded carrot into noodle things because it's easy to pick up with the noodles because they're like noodle shaped you know it's all about efficiency I also put in some plain cold tofu <laughs> because that's lazy food excellency my friends and also some frozen broccoli that was microwaved in the bag so this is definitely like you know lazy noodle meal but it's very good also put spicy mayo and sesame seeds on it this is me eating more of the chickpea salad but with potato chips which i don't know if i've ever done before i probably have but i don't remember it um so it feels like a new experience and it's very very delicious so and then i had a verb energy bar for breakfast which um this video is not sponsored by verb energy if you remember i was sponsored by them in the past i genuinely do really like those bars and um just happen to have one today so yeah verb energy if you want to sponsor me again i would be down and then i tried the apple macchiato the mm, i don't know what it's called oat milk apple macchiato starbucks drink um, whatever it's called. It's really good. Well, I thought it was good. It's really just like a little coffee drink sweet coffee drink with an apple-y flavor thrown in there And then here I'm having another chickpea salad sandwich, but this time I put cheese in it. It's pretty crazy I just put cheese on the bread and then put it in the air fryer um, Which is usually how I toast my bread is I use the air fryer if you didn't know because I don't have a toaster I just sometimes I put cheese on sandwiches when I'm feeling special you know and then here's me having an apple i don't buy a lot of like fresh fruit to be honest pretty much just apples and bananas and i freeze all my bananas anyways so the only like fresh fruit that i ever eat is apples unless someone gave me some free fruit like one of my relatives has a bunch of you know whatever fruit and they're just handing handing it off to everybody then okay you know, or like my mom gets a buy one, get one on something and gives it to me. Why am I even saying this? I don't even know. But anyways, I love a good apple and peanut butter snack. So there I'm having it. 
And here I'm making some shin ramen. This is the vegan shin ramen that I found at Walmart that I also mentioned in my last video. But here I'm making it slightly differently. That's just plain like uncooked tofu. I just put the um, seasoning packet in with the tofu while I was waiting for the water to boil and stuff. Cause I was like, I don't know. I thought maybe that would like let the flavors sink into the tofu better if they could just like sit in the seasoning for a little longer. And I feel like it kind of did, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and this time I added also like frozen veggies again and some spinach and some green onion, but I added some kimchi juice and some kimchi and this made it absolutely delicious way more delicious than before it's really good on its own you know just like a nice comforting simple veggie ramen but with the kimchi in there so delicious so good it looks better in real life than it does here okay i swear because you can't see all the juices usually in the summer if i'm making ramen i tend to like put less broth in there you know because i'm like I don't want a bunch of broth when it's hot, um, but then it makes the ramen not look as good when there's not enough, when there's not as much broth, you know? Anyways, and then I had some boba as a celebrative, 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 oh my, a treat um, after my roommate and I got our second booster at Target, which is a good place to get your second booster because when you're forced to wait for 15 minutes afterward, you can just walk around Target, which is pretty fun. Um, and it was really quick at our Target also, so. Anyways, here I'm making a wrap with some veggies and some of that cheese spread that I was still trying to use up, and yeah, cherry tomatoes. Um, I added some green onion because I never feel like cutting an actual onion and I added some salt and pepper and some tofurkey deli slices Which always seem a little bit cursed when you make a wrap out of them. I don't know. It's just me I guess I'm not really a deli meat wrap person as much as I am a deli meat sandwich person. Does that make sense? I guess I didn't grow up on them as a child you know Deli meat in a wrap form just always like freaks me out a little bit just a little clearly not enough to not eat it though and then here i'm having a rice bowl um another lazy meal classic of mine and my roommates um there's a lot of tofu in this video i'm noticing so yes i'm just cutting up some tofu into a bowl of rice and then i put a bunch of sauce and seasonings and things on top of it and then i mix it in i'm putting some coconut aminos mushroom seasoning ginger white pepper i think sesame oil and some spicy mayonnaise was the first thing and now i'm cutting up some kimchi and putting that in there i like kimchi in little bites okay i'm cutting up some cucumber and some carrot and some spinach as you can see i eat a lot of the same things on a regular basis i try to switch it up but you know life it is hard sometimes you guys know you know i think this is the way that most people are right so yeah i'm stirring it all together and i don't think i said green onion but i put green onion in there this is such a good meal dude like i don't know it's just good like it's just so easy and it's so like so simple satisfying now i'm having another bowl of cereal and yeah, this time I'm showing you me microwaving the blueberries. Very exciting stuff here. Microwave the blueberries for like 30 seconds or less. Um, and then I just put all the stuff on top of it. And then I put my milk in there. Woo! And it also kind of adds like natural sweetener too. Makes the milk like a nice sweet blueberry milk, which is kind of fun. And I'm making another matcha. But this one, oh yeah. <laughs> a lot of the time my eyes are bigger than my stomach in the morning like I'm not ready to eat that much But I pour myself like a big bowl of cereal or a big bowl of oatmeal or whatever And then I just like start feeling sick as I'm eating it you ever do that So I had some e extra cereal milk and my I just was not feeling it so I don't know if it's gross But it's just for me. So I don't think it's gross. I strained my cereal milk well, I strained the cereal out of my cereal milk and I wanted to make a matcha latte out of it because I thought wouldn't that just be so pretty and fun 
to have a nice little blueberry cereal milk matcha latte. But I added a little bit of extra um, milk to like plain milk also because I didn't know if I quite had enough cereal milk. But yeah, look at that, so pretty, a color combination. Could there be a little bit of like backwash in there? Maybe. But it's just for me, so, and then you stir it together and you get this weird little gray green color, which is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, it was quite delicious. And then I had another wrap with similar things as the other day, probably. It's probably just about the same. Can't say for sure, because I didn't film the whole thing. But, you know, what else could be in there? So I ate a lot of this cheese spread during this week. Here's me eating it with some cucumbers. I ate it with like chips and I ate it on wraps. And then my last meal for this video was Mediterranean food that I ordered with my parents. And my mom actually eats a lot of vegetarian food, so we ordered both the vegetarian plates and shared them so we could have all the things. We had some falafel, lots of falafel, some grape leaves, tabbouleh, um, a little salad with like a lemon vinaigrette, a bunch of pickled veggies, hummus, lots of hummus, some baba ganoush, some tahini sauce, and did I say pita bread? We also got pita bread with it. If you've never had Mediterranean food before, it's really easy to find vegan options, very delicious, lots of food, loved it. And with that, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and getting to the end of it. That's really cool of you. Um, thank you. Also, thank you to Harry's again for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. Make sure to click the link down below or go to harrys.com slash emilyewing if you want to get your own starter set. And I will see you in the next video. I'm going to try to get a lot of like fall content going on here because I always blink and then I miss all my opportunities to get some fall content out there. So please look forward to that. Anyways, bye bye.